The Coalition of Concerned Citizens is not letting up on the Emara issue. Late last year, Bahamian shareholders in the local power company voted to sell shares to the parent company, Emara. But the coalition is of the view that selling of the shares places Bahamians at a disadvantage. It's how your hall reports. Member of the Coalition of Concerned Citizens, Pastor Margot Victor, says the organization is saddened by the government's decision to approve the $35 million sale of Bahamian shares to the Amera Company. This reverses uh, the decision that has been made, uh, what we feel, back in 1973 when the Bahamas became independent. And we all believe, at least I was 10 years old, but I was sold on the idea that Somewhere in my lifetime, Bahamians would own this country and there would be a move toward equity. But this decision has said that things are not going the way the blueprints uh, were laid out. Rudolph Stubbs of the trade union movement says the organization stands on the shoulders of all workers on Grand Bahama. We say to the powers that be that in given the GB Power Company 100% acquisition of a power company that's in here on Grand Bahama is very much dissatisfying because in any arena of doing business there must be local investment and international investment. Pastor Eddie Victor of the Coalition of Concerned Citizens says they made two recommendations to the government last year. The first was to put an independent regulatory committee in place under the oversight of IRCA. We called on the government not to renew the East End and West End agreement between the Grand Bahama Power Company and the government of the Bahamas to provide electricity in, the, in West Grand Bahama and East Grand Bahama. We believe that this will present a crucial opportunity for a new and additional uh, power company to be allowed to come into Grand Bahama and this would help to stimulate competition and efficiency of electricity services to customers on the island. Victor also urged residents on the island to invest in solar energy systems. What we say to those customers, do not be concerned about tying into the grid. Because if the system is properly installed, you will have a transfer switch. So I can switch to GB Power and I can switch them on. He says the organization will intensify its efforts in the coming months to put an end to high electricity rates. We will aggressively oppose all rate applications from the Grand Bahama Power Company and will only accept approvals that drive down the cost of electricity by 35 to 40 percent. Also, we will begin a series of town meetings in West Grand Bahama, East Grand Bahama, and the city of Freeport. These town meetings will address the high cost of electricity in Grand Bahama and share solutions to drive down the cost of energy in a very short space of time. Now the first town meeting is scheduled for Monday, January 22nd at the St. Mary Magdalene Church in West End, beginning at 7 p.m. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Natalia Hall. Tonight, the Deputy Prime Minister is also responding to the concerns expressed by the Coalition of Concerned Citizens. He says in that case, the government had to act within the law. Last year, Emera Incorporated and ICD Utilities Limited announced that ICDU shareholders approved a merger. On November 8th, 89% of the local shareholders came together in a meeting at the Pelican Bay Resort. 97% of those Bahamian shareholders voted to sell their shares to accommodate the merger. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquist says, it is an unfortunate situation but the government of the Bahamas is simply following the law. Grand Bahama Power Company uh, is a private entity. Uh, the the uh, uh, shareholders of ICDU, uh, which was the shareholder on behalf of the minority shareholders in Grand Bahama Power Company, uh, made a decision. Uh, the majority of the minority interest in Grand Bahama Power decided, made a decision that they wanted to sell. And so the, the government cannot get involved in a contractual relationship, a shareholder uh, um, um, a decision, uh, arbitrarily or just uh, based upon a, a feeling. The, we are governed by laws. He says the government could not find a legal reason to interfere. We recognize that there are some uh, in that minority group 
that uh, did not wish to proceed with selling their shares. Uh, and certainly we, we respect that, uh, um, but again, the minority of the minority unfortunately can't dictate to the majority of the minority. The minister adds that the government would want more Bahamians to be involved in the economic prosperity and owning assets. This does go against, uh, in somewhat, uh, some way, what we uh, would like to see happen. But th that desire, uh, that policy uh, position does not trump the law. Uh, and so uh, the, the, the unfortunate reality is that uh, a chain of, uh, uh, of events had been set into motion many years ago uh, when uh, we allowed the company to be privatized in the first instance with the majority of it going to a foreign entity. Uh, and, and, and this is just a, 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 a consequence of all of those decisions uh, for, for, for years. He says what was most important is that the process was fair. The Attorney General has had a, re uh, um, a review of that himself, as well as we sought counsel from the UK uh, to make sure that the, the, the um, decisions that were made were fair, uh, that we had independent eyes on it to ensure that the position that we were coming to was in fact uh, the, the only options that we had. Uh, uh, and, and we are satisfied that we acted in the best interest of the company of the shareholders uh, and at the end of the day uh, following the laws of the Bahamas. Meanwhile, the Grand Bahama Power Company is taking steps to improve customer service. A system recently implemented is making the process of paying your power bill a whole lot easier. Sabrina Brown takes a look. If you visited the Grand Bahama Power Company recently, you would have noticed that a kiosk was installed just outside the main entrance. The digital payment center is similar to an ATM machine, and customer service representative Patrice Missick says it is designed to take the hassle out of paying your power bill. We bought the kiosk as a way of to alleviate some of the long lines that we would have in peak times so that customers can get in and out as quick as possible. This kiosk is actually the first kiosk um, installed by any utility within the Bahamas, so we're very proud of that. Customer service manager Dominique MacPinder says this new payment system is quick and user-friendly. Generally, it takes on average about a minute and 30 seconds to process a payment from start to finish. We take cash, we take credit cards and check payments. Also, it's safe, it's secure, it's reliable and it's in real time. You have the option to get your receipt with a live print. You can get a text to your cell phone or you can have it emailed to your email address. She says this payment option is convenient for customers whose service was disconnected. Our office closes at 4.30 and many persons persons may not even be aware until they get home um, at the end of the day that their power may have been disconnected or without being disconnected you want to make a payment before the next thing. So we would have seen a lot of customers and traffic in the after hours after 4.30. Um, our meter men are on the roads from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. so customers have an opportunity to come in, make that payment, call the call center and have their services connected in the same day. Sabrina Brown said in Network News. In other news, a police-involved shooting over in Abaco has left one man dead. It happened shortly after midnight when officers were called to a business establishment in the Central Pines area where it was reported that a male armed with a firearm was discharging into the crowd. Police say the officers confronted the armed suspect who then reportedly pointed the firearm in the direction of the police officers. Police in fear for their lives discharged a police service firearm, hitting the suspect and killing him. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Police say a black Tech 9 weapon, magazines and ammunition were recovered from the suspect. The matter will be referred to the coroner. Now, a search and rescue mission launched on the island of Bimini for one of two Bimini residents who reportedly went missing on Wednesday. Police say shortly before 8 p.m., they received a report that two males who were sitting in a small boat anchored at the rear of a business establishment had gone missing. A search was conducted by law enforcement officials and Basra. Police say shortly after 8 a.m. yesterday, the lifeless body of a male was discovered in waters in the area of the Bimini Harbor. A search now continues for the other male. 
Stay with us, The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition continues in just a moment.